Fabulous. Well, Holly's with mm. us now, as you can see. Holly, it's all going on up there. Solar storms <laughs> and the northern lights. That is one way to put it, Sangeeta. It's yes. all going yeah. on up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have got a very, very, very small chance of seeing the northern lights tonight. I don't want to get you too excited because it's much more likely further north, but it's probably the best chance in a couple of years. So I thought I would talk about it because I don't get the chance to talk about it very often. So, what's happened is there's been this coronal mass ejection. Try saying that quickly. Um, a CME on the surface of the sun it's released a huge amount of what's called plasma into the atmosphere and it's uh, released uh, billions of tons of material from the sun's surface basically these happen quite regularly but they shoot off into all different directions uh, in this in in space but this particular one happened over the weekend and it's heading straight for us arriving this evening i've seen the northern lights mm -hmm. in finland we were making a how program there some oh, wow. years ago beautiful how do we see it here? Where do we see it here? Well, as I say, a, a small chance, I think, that we're going to see it here. It's much more likely further north in, uh, in the UK. Uh, what basically happens is you get all these, you get this plasma, these particles, which, which come shooting to Earth, and they interact with our magnetic fields. So they get pulled to the north and south pole, which is why you're more likely normally to see the northern lights in the north and south. And they sort of heat up particles in our atmosphere, so you get this glow. Uh, but it can also interrupt with things like GPS. So you may find your GPS playing up this evening. We need to go to Manchester or something now. Oh, well, the go to the north. Oh, sorry, I'm interrupting. Or get a camera, point it north. Your camera's the best chance of seeing it. You're probably unlikely to do so with the naked eye. Northern lights and a weather forecast as well. What more could you want? Here she is, Holly Grid. We're going to end tonight's show with some news of our own, some personal news from Fred now. Yes, difficult to tell you this, but after 38 years in this hot seat, I've finally decided to try one or two new things. I'll still be working, of course. I'll still be doing my crime programmes. I'll still be doing how and writing a book which has been commissioned. But I just feel my wife and myself need a bit more space now, a bit more time. We want to do a bit of travelling, COVID permitting, and go around the world a bit, little bit more. But I'm going to miss you and you. I'm going to miss all of my lovely colleagues here at ITV Meridian. But most of all, I'm going to miss you. Our lovely, loyal viewers have been so kind to me over so many years. But we're not going to be down. We're not going to be sad. It's not going to happen for a couple of months. You're not leaving yet. We've got a good two months. Just before Christmas. Just before Christmas. And as they say, the show does go on. We're going to have lots more laughs, aren't yes. we, Fred? In just a moment, though, the ITV Evening News here with Mary Nightingale. So you just got our news. But from all of us here at ITV Meridian, thank you for watching. Take care. And from me... Bye -bye. See you Thank tomorrow. You.